Welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. We try to make sense of this crazy, changing Arizona real estate market. And man, things are changing fast. And that usually doesn't happen in real estate. Change is kind of slow. It takes a few months. But what we're seeing over the past four weeks, <clears throat> I need to share with you. Because our listings today are 10,399 homes on the market. We've been rolling about 6,000. Listings are up 92% versus last June. That's a huge number. And this all occurred in four weeks. I'm going to show you some other numbers too. Seven day moving average, we have put 4,724 homes on the market with 3,158 go under contract. That's a difference of 1,566. That's a huge gap. Now, I need to put a little asterisk by that because that also includes Memorial Day and those numbers were down. So we need to get to like Tuesday so that this all shakes out because we're comparing a seven day moving average. So um, that's an interesting number. Now, um, what we're seeing is on top of, uh, you know, the inventory rising, it's factored into the Cromford market index. And you can see that it's just fallen like a missile coming out of the sky, coming back down. <clears throat> we're down below 280. 100 is considered a balanced market. And this chart, I think, actually shows it a little bit better with that blue line being with a balanced market. And we're right here. We've gone from here, 385 to 272 in um, almost mm, three weeks. Unbelievable. Now, how, how many times have we been balanced since 2001? Well, we were balanced from 2001 to three, and then things went up. Then we had the great big crash down here, and then we were not balanced after 2011. Balanced again around 2014, and that's been it. That's the last time we've ever seen a market that you could call a balanced market. What this means for sellers, though, is you've got to be careful on how you price. You can't price today like you could price last month. So everybody has ambitious goals for their home and prices. But remember, that's based on comps that people have pulled for you for like three months ago, which is May, April, and March. And sales were a little more brisk. They weren't, well, they weren't much higher, we're running about 3500 a week versus now about 3100 But there were fewer choices to, of homes to pick from. We were about... Oh, well, we got down to about 4,800 at one point, and now we're at 10,399 homes. So there are more choices for buyers. So you're not going to get a peak price of your home today like you would have a couple of months ago. So we always say that nobody rings a bell at the top or at the bottom, but I think you can start to hear a little bit of a ding-a-ding-a-ding there. It's telling you that we've probably passed the top of the market. And where interest rates go is anybody's guess. If I was a bet man, I'd say they're going higher. I just don't know when. Um, there are still some good rates out there. The investor traffic is still heavy. Still heavy. About 9% of total sales last month. And uh, But rental numbers are coming up. So when we read some of the information that the Crawford market is putting out, it said supplies dramatically increased over last month. Up 42% in a single month. That's the big kicker right here. Almost everyone expected demand to fall because of the sharp increase in mortgage interest rates and demand has behaved as expected. Sales are down almost 10% compared to last year. As of June 1, the rate of arrival of new listings is up more than 14% compared to that same time last year, 40% compared with June 1. But this is all unfair comparison because the housing market was being disrupted by COVID-19. Things are going very fast. The big unknown is whether the increase in new listings is a short-term blip or the tip of the start of the much important trend, a more important trend. In other words, the spike that we've seen, is that it? Or is this going to keep going? The increase is only five weeks old, but at the moment, it's getting stronger each week. Can't wait to see what this looks like on Monday or Tuesday. The increase in supply is not confined to homes for sale. There's 2,316 active rental listings up from 1,382 this time last year, an increase of 68%. In addition, coming soon listings are up 20% compared to June 2011. The big number to look at when you're looking at pricing your home is try to find out 
what the average comp is for homes of your size and uh, shape and everything and then i would come in a little bit below that because we're already starting to see homes stay on the market longer um, and what i'm seeing is we've had three thousand price reductions over the past week 30 percent of the homes that are on the market have pulled their prices back so uh, don't pretend that you're going to be immune to that so buyers are going to have a greater opportunity to get in perhaps later on in the summer and there'll be no more bidding wars although i just got back from an open house in gilbert and it was absolutely packed they said that they already are expecting three offers uh, the open house just had cars lined up the street one lady walked in the guy says how'd you find us she says oh online he goes how long have you been looking she goes a year well the past year there's been nothing for her to look at nothing for her to see and there were barely any open houses so she's out driving around looking at open houses because there's more houses to view that is going to roll into you not being able to get the price that you want and buyers you can start asking things like sellers contributing towards uh you know a home warranty maybe helping out with closing costs later those types of things we're still at 54 percent of the homes are selling above their list price so the frenzy hasn't completely stopped yet but the trend is showing us that we are going to reach balance pretty soon and it says here in the market report, it says it's very rare for the greater Phoenix housing market to change as fast as it has done over the past month. In fact, this represents the most dynamic period we've ever recorded since the year 2000. This rate of change only adds to the uncertainty of where we're headed. It suggests that extreme caution is in order. I had to lean over and read into that. So he's telling you to be cautious. I'm telling you to be frugal in your pricing. I'm not saying there's a crash coming. I don't know yet. I think uh, a balanced market is probably going to see between 25,000 and 30,000 listings on the market. Right now we're at 10,399. So we have um, a chart that's telling us we may be getting there sooner than we thought. I've kind of felt like we were going to hit close to that in Labor Day. And I think uh, if it keeps tracking like this, we will. So what happens then? It's just going to take longer for you to sell your house unless you price it right and the buyers are still out there you could still be in great shape remember real estate's gone up 50 percent the past two years so if you got to pull yours back 10 percent you know don't lose a lot of sleep over that uh buyers uh try not to get too greedy yet uh nobody's in a desperate situation where they have to sell uh, but it's looking hopeful for you but keep your fingers crossed for rates because rates could go anywhere we really don't know what's going to happen to interest rates so stay tuned to this channel as we track these numbers i hope everybody has a fabulous weekend mm -hmm.